powered by Alienware. The greatest part of getting a powerful gaming PC is going to your favourite games and pushing everything to max, and nowadays that means chasing a refresh rate of beyond 240Hz or going for a 4K resolution and beyond. Often referred to as Ultra High Definition or UHD, 4K is normally 3840 by 2160 pixels, the equivalent of 4 times 1080p HD. The best 4K displays you can get will be 28 inches or bigger, and use Nvidia's G-Sync technology. To push all those pixels at anything above 30fps, you will want a top of the line graphics card, a GTX 1080 Ti or a multi GPU build, with plenty of DDR4 RAM and solid state storage. Assemble these parts together, or alternatively, customise the system to your liking at Alienware.com and get just the right gear to conquer these incredible worlds. But enough about hardware. Here is our list of games that show off all the power of 4K. Rise of the Tomb Raider features the stunning return of Lara Croft, and Crystal Dynamics have really pushed the graphic envelope with their foundation engine. Utilising super sampling anti-aliasing to increase the internal rendering resolution of the game before downsampling to the display, you can take advantage of 4K even if your monitor can't. They use Nvidia's Gameworks and Telestation technology for snow tracks and fine details, as well as the slide effects Houdini software, which allows highly realistic water effects and avalanches to be created offline and dynamically merged into the real-time cutscenes that display visual elements that would otherwise be impossible to render. This game is a cinematic masterpiece, with lens flares, spectacular reflections and realistic hair and fur physics thanks to the pure hair rendering technology. Originally released on PC in January 2016, Rise of the Tomb Raider renders amazingly in 4K, and the results are worth all those pixels. As Geralt in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, you have to make a lot of choices, life or death, love or loss, and medium or ultra graphic settings. CD Projekt Red's third update to the Red Engine was designed exclusively for the 64-bit software platform and allows for a wide array of cinematic effects, including bouquet depth of field, colour grading and lens flares, associated with multiple lighting. The game also leverages Nvidia's Gameworks HBAO Plus for ambient occlusion shadowing, physics effects for clothes and destruction, as well as Hairworks Tech for that lovely mane of hair. This is the oldest game on our list, and although it may not be the best looking of the group, given its huge open world, this is an amazing game in 4K 60fps. CD Projekt Red has upgraded to the Red Engine 4 for the upcoming Cyberpunk 2077, slated to come out in 2019 in at least 4K. The original Doom was powered on id Tech 1, usually just called the Doom Engine. Now the new Doom is powered by id Tech 6, and lets you demolish demons in glorious 4K. Doom uses a new graphics application programming interface, Vulkan API, for effective CPU multi-threading to help avoid CPU bottlenecks. The game features a rich single player and fast paced multiplayer, where extra pixels and frames can give you an advantage over the competition. In addition to being a difficulty setting, you can put the shadow quality and virtual texturing page size in nightmare mode, which requires a GPU of at least 5GB of onboard VRAM, but you should already have that if you're doing 4K. For Fallout 4, Bethesda Game Studios expanded Skyrim's creation engine by adding a physically based deferred renderer to allow for more dynamic lighting and to paint object surfaces with realistic materials, as well as a more advanced character generation. To produce those amazing god rays, they used Nvidia Gameworks to implement volumetric lighting through the hardware tessellation. The game also leverages Nvidia's Gameworks HBO Plus for ambient occlusion shadowing. In addition to all the great graphics mods, what really makes Fallout 4 look so amazing in 4K is the official high resolution texture pack, released by Bethesda in February of 2017. Although it's free, you will need 58GB of free space to take advantage of the new textures, but the Wasteland has never looked this good before, or been in a higher resolution. You can't have a list about glorious games without a racing sim, and this year's Project Cars 2 is possibly the best looking one available. Slightly Mad Studios uses their Madness engine to produce 32 cars on the track at once, all rendered at ridiculous detail levels, with luscious environments, astounding effects and lifelike weather. 
Project Cars 2 pushes PCs to the limit, allowing not only for 4K, but 12K 60fps. Built specifically for multi-core and multi-processor archetypes, the Madness engine isn't just about superior visuals, it also has highly detailed simulation and physics. The tyre model, physics and handling are the most advanced in the game's history, to the extent that some professional racing drivers use it to practice for real-life races. 4K video in games are quickly becoming the new standard, and modern PCs are powering that thanks to multi-core processors with water-cooled overclocking, powerful GPUs that can be stacked together, an abundant memory in DDR4 RAM, and M.2 SSD storage. All of this so you can enter great game worlds in 4K and beyond, as long as your system can handle it. Hey, this isn't funny. Powered by Alienware. Introducing the Area 51 Thread Ripper Edition with a liquid-cooled 16-core AMD Ryzen processor that's ready to overclock. Learn more at Alienware.com.